So we are here in the Cats, sitting on the beach with Robin Ash. And uh, first of all, Robbie, uh, congratulations because uh, just a few weeks ago you, you got father again and uh, must be pretty hard for you to be around knowing that uh, your little girl is waiting at home. Yeah, it's pretty hard, but you know me and traveling, I'm kind of used to it. So yeah, I can't wait to get home. I, I fly back tomorrow to see her, so it'll all be good. That's great. Listen, and um, Le Cat is uh, for you uh, every year you come here, so this is like a must, uh, apparently. Yeah, you know, the last few years I've been coming to the Mondial de Vent. It's, it's a cool event. It's a community that really supports our sports, wind sports, kiting, windsurfing, and uh, it's a great event. When I come, the wind always gets a little funky, but that's, you know, that's what happens. But it's a great place. Even if there's no wind, it's a great place to hang out. All right, now a little bit more tricky question. How do you see, let's say, windsurfing five or ten years from now? I mean, because it seems like uh, the sport is having, like, a comeback. Yeah, there's definitely a, a resurgence going on. You know, all sports are cyclical. You know, they kind of come and go and come and go. Windsurfing just has a really big cycle. And uh, there are more people going through windsurfing schools now than ever before. We got more young people entering the sport now than ever before, you know, which is really cool. Like on Hawaii, we'll have 50 or 60 kids under 16 riding on, a, on the weekend. That's never happened in the history of the sport. Uh, so it's great. I see the future being super positive. More and more people getting back into it. Either people that used to windsurf rediscovering the sport and the new equipment and everything, and new people coming into it. You, you must be uh, pretty busy because, I mean, you are not only, I mean, you have to manage a company, you have to take care of your family, you have to travel all, a lot, do a lot of promotion stuff for Red Bull as well, I believe, so it must be a pr pretty year for you, the 365 days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish the year was 500 days, it'd be a little easier, but hey, it's, it's all good. I'm having fun, um, you know, the lifestyle is allowing me to keep, keep on the water almost every day. Uh, it's a small world. I wish planes were a little bit faster. So living in Maui is a bit tough when most of my business and most of my promotion is in Europe and it takes 24 hours each way. But it's worth it going home to Maui. It's a great place. Hawaii is still the best, best place on the planet for, for what I do. Um, so yeah, I'm still having fun. Definitely I never wake up at the end of, uh, you know, after a long day and, uh, and look back and wish I was doing something else. That's for sure. I love what I do and I'm still having fun. But, but for you, obviously, uh, windsurfing, getting on the water is still one of your priorities. It what keeps your balance. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever the conditions are good for. Kiting, surfing, windsurfing. But honestly, there's not much in the world beats a good day of windsurfing. <laughs> um, when the conditions are there, it's pretty awesome. And what do you think about this new sport that came out now, paddleboarding? There's a lot of people talking about it and you see a lot of guys doing it. Do you think it's just like something that is having this little curve or you think it's something that could maybe establish? No, it's definitely going to establish. There's, there's a place for everything, you know, and stand-up paddle makes really bad waves fun, <laughs> uh, which is what most of the world has, is small, shitty little waves, and, and stand-up paddle makes those really a good time. It gets you on the water, it's great exercise, gives you really good core strength and coordination. Uh, so I see it growing worldwide, it's going to be pretty big. When there's no wind and little waves or even no waves, it's great exercise and good fun. It gets you out on the water, gets you on a board, which is great. And uh, when the wind comes up, put it away and go do something else. <laughs> Listen, I, um, I heard from a friend of yours, he told me that uh, you had those big Kona days in Maui and, and, and those days still give you adrenaline like 20, 30 years ago when you go windsurfing. I mean, you, you, you look at the waves and, thing you, and you get in there and you still have your heart be beating fast. Yeah, my heart beats fast when it's this big and, <laughs> and 50 knots. Uh, but yeah, those, the, the good Kona wind days are awesome. It only happens maybe once a year and uh, when it does, it's pretty good fun. You know, I'm goofy foot, which means uh, I love that direction. We hardly ever get it on Maui, and when it happens, it's as good as it gets. It was fun. But you still have time to spend, uh, I mean, you, you, Winsafligi, you were kind of born in, in Oahu. Are you, you still have time to hang around there, or, or not that much anymore? Uh, less. I've pretty much moved full-time to Maui now, the last couple of years, but I still have my house in Kailua on Oahu, and go back and forth. My wife and I spent three weeks there um, when the baby was born and uh, was kiting every day. You know, I had a, an unbelievable session with Jason Polakow this winter at Backyards, which again, it, it doesn't happen that often, when, but when it happens, it's unreal. So 
Diamond Head in the summertime, at least a couple of days on the North Shore during the year, Kailua kiting. It's, uh, it's a pretty good balance between the two islands. Maui is more consistent, but when it happens, the conditions on Oahu are really something special. Okay, great. So we hope to see you around still for a long time, windsurfing. Eh? We, uh, you know, we all look up to you, and it's fun to to be with you and see in the water and sail with you. Thanks. I hope I'm not going anywhere. You know, hopefully I can do this for a long time to come. It's been more than 30 years now, and if I get it 30 more years, I'll be a, <laughs> I'll be a happy boy. All right. Thank you, Robbie. Thanks. See you later.